My first gay pride parade, I was nine or ten years old, and I got these two little girls, they were younger than me, and they lived on my street, and one of them could twirl a baton, and another one had like this um, ballerina princess outfit. So, I found, I chose in my mother's closet this blue dress, and I found a wig and all this makeup, and I made myself up to look like this old woman. So I had the two little girls marching ahead, you know, parading down the street in their outfits, and I was behind them waving a cane saying, wait for me, wait for me. Cut. It was conceptual humor, but I think people got it. Cut. What? Oh, oh, wait, did I mention that this happened on an Air Force base where my father was a colonel? This is not working. I was a little drag queen, that's what I was. Could we try what? a story with some broader appeal? Broader appeal? Yes, please. <laughs> Pride to me is about being uh, body conscious. Conscious about my body. Uh, the right treadmill to use, uh, picking proteins over carbs, uh, you know, finding the perfect tank top. Uh, you know, hanging out with other straight-acting dudes, and I cannot do this. I can, this is stupid. I mean, my head is about to explode. What's wrong? It was going well, fine. Well, if, if they're straight-acting, what, what's the gay pride it's part about? I mean, it's you know, Where's the gay part? You're the gay part, here. darling. Just you do know, it. I, I, it's stupid. because of this I mean, sort of who's this supposed to be for? I'm vibrant, active vibrant. gay men. Who's vibrant? Vibrant. The dance floor crowd. The dance floor crowd? I'm 49 years old. I can't stay awake for Letterman. Would you just try no, something else? Please. Okay, you're trying to sell drink tickets and cover charge. Is that it? Is that what pride is to you? Okay, I got it. I got Gotcha. My best gay pride was years ago, I was at a huge circuit party and there was like a thousand guys all dancing on the dance floor and everybody's shirtless and I'm dancing up on a box, I mean, because I'm looking hot, right? And so I've been on steroids for eight weeks and the muscles are big and I'm dancing and the beat is perfect, it's like bum bum bum, bum bum bum, ba -da -dum, bum 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 and I'm dancing, there's smoke all around me, you know, and I'm thinking I don't call my mom as much as I used to and the muscles are looking good and everybody's dancing around me and we're cheering, you know, and there's smoke going on and there's just muscles and lights and the drugs are really taking over me, right? And I'm like, this is so hot and I hope nobody can see the track marks that are in my arms, you know, and maybe I'll just call in late for work again or I'll skip work altogether. And all of a sudden, it's like 5 a.m. and I'm in my apartment and there's nobody there and it's 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm looking out the windows and I'm wondering, where is everybody? Because they were all right here. We were all having such a good time, and, and I can't go to sleep, I'm too high, and I don't care about HIV, I don't care about my medications, I don't care about, about, about consequences, I just don't want to feel bad anymore. To leave the drug treatment center and know that from now on it's all on me, every choice that I make. That was the beginning of pride. And to not be ashamed of what it took to get me to where I am today. Uh, to know my HIV status, to not be ashamed of that, to share it with somebody else, to make good decisions based on that. You know, everything I do is a reflection of the pride I have in myself. Everything.